Thank you. Our fellow Americans, we're in a time like no other where we don't have a right to choose which hospital we go to, which doctors that we want to see. We don't have a right to take our body and our body parts to the grave with us because of greed. 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 We have a 200-year-old law, they say. Well, it's a little outdated. I say that what sets us apart from the rest of the world, it makes us who we are. That anybody, any nationality, anybody, any human being on this planet can share our way of life. We, we have no problem with it. I myself have a little problem with people coming over here and they could be 53 years old, exactly what I am. I've lived this way all my life. And I've told people and people that know me, they know how I am, how I feel, how, how much I, I love my country, my constitution. I've lived on these three principles, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And somebody that my love, my friend, my baby, she says, hey, you know, she used to laugh at me about my, how I do, um, how I say about my, my constitution and my, and our rights and everything. And everybody that's in, in Chicago with their gun control and their stop and seizure laws, I say they all should be locked up. Every one of them, violators copy like they do down here in Franklin County. Let's just put them in jail and get, get rid of their due process. I'm just kidding, of course. After a, a jury trial now, a jury trial finds them guilty. Jurors say they're guilty. Let's, do, let's put them in jail because they're violating the law. This law is very important to me. It should be important to every one of us. It's what happens when you can't choose the hospital or the doctors. You have the right to choose that. She didn't want to be there. You have the right to go to church. Or not go to church. That is our is our freedom. It's our liberty. When you take that away. We, we have nothing else other than that, what they do over there in them other countries. Our women have the right. To have their own destinies. To set their own goals. We have the right, as men, to set our own goals. Or do we? My right to be a man was taken from me with the threat of going to jail. Some people say, oh, that wouldn't matter to me. I would have just went to jail. Well, not when my the love, my friend, my baby told me, promise me, Gator, you won't get locked up. You can't help me. You can't help me. All the thousands of souls that have had their organs stolen from them. I can't help them if I'm locked up. Of course, she don't know me very good. I say that I propose that we, we go through our Constitution. Every law that we have. And let's dissect it and stop the ones that are violating the law. These laws that are violation of the of the Constitution is not worth the paper that they're wrote on. And so many people have said me, oh, <clears throat> convicted felon, you know, convicted felon. Yeah, you don't have a right. You know, there was a couple, um, Lisa and, uh, and, and Tracy are, are both examples of this, and she was my my witness, and, and a good witness she was, but she's gone now. But I, I can, uh, I, I'm... Pretty can stand on my own two feet. I, I can do it. Um, people have been lying on me for a long, long time. And uh, I used to say, well, you know, it doesn't matter. You know me is to know me. But it does. After a while, people believe you. Believe all the lies that they told. I'm going to tell you right now that this is a bad, bad thing to do. Especially when you got people out there that's like after greed. Or they just want to get you out of the way. I started at an early age. I was a dealer. For $15, I got me a dealer's license here in Stephen County. 
I was a little boy, 13, had a bait shop. A couple classes. Well, was sold at the auctions. Went to the uh, antique auctions. Loved it. Got before I could even drive. I was selling all kind of um, merchandise. I like to be called a vendor because of the way the law has it. And they got dealer, you know, that you think of a drug dealer, you know. And uh, it, it just really, that kind of irks me a little bit. But then anyway, you know, that was supposed to be for life. Then I turned around and it was five years you get a dealer's license. And then my last license that I had was $200 and it only lasted a year. You had to put it in the paper for two weeks. It's $40 more. That's terrible. It's all about money. Driver's license was 15 years, you know. Now it's eight years. That's that free range that I was talking about. So many people know what I'm talking about when I say free range, where you can drive. You don't need a piece of paper to drive. You don't need a piece of paper to be married. What did he do before paper and pens were made? Think about this. As long as your heart's right and you pray to God and God, please bless our marriage. Please bless our unity together. That's what me and Lisa had. That piece of paper, it was ownership. I think it's caused us a lot of my other, my other wives that I had. That I think that's what our problems was. They, they owned me on them. Lisa was allowed in her mind she could leave if she wanted to. She'd stay if she wanted to. I was the same way. She would have never left me in a million years. But my right to, my right to be a man was taken from me. The hospital, step back, sir. You can hear it when you listen to the video. Step back, sir. I'm going to sue this place if you take one organ out of her. Yeah, that's all right, sir. You can do that. But you're going to step back now, sir. Step back. You know, step back or go to jail, okay? And she said, oh, when we was back here in that dream that she had, dream a little dream, promise me, Gator, you won't get locked up. You got to stay out here and take care of my dog. I think about that every day. It's just, it it just, it really hurt. It hurts me. But what can you do? I know I get mad and I say a lot of things, you know, and and you say, well, you know, do this and do that, you know. And I don't know, you know, I get shot at and I shoot you back, you know. And But can you really do that? Can you? Huh? When the when, Are you going to freeze up? Do you know? Do you know based on what I've done before? I'll shoot you. I promise you, I will try my best if you shoot me. You slap me, I'll slap you back. Now, this is the reason I'm telling you all this is because I need your help. I need every American citizen to listen and listen to what I got to say. Because this is our descendants, our family, our friends. Every person is in jeopardy of laying there on that table with $54,000 worth of drugs in you that they're flushing in you. You're, oh, it's against the law to do these drugs unless the doctor gives them to you. Imagine doing $54,201. Inflated? Okay, well, you know, it's really inflated. Okay, well, it's a lot of drugs, okay? That's a lot of drugs to do in seven days. Okay, I want everybody to go into your private place that you have, that you can be alone. And you think about what I'm telling you, okay? Think about taking $54,000 worth of fentanyl and propanol and Tylenol or what, all the drugs that they give Lisa in that seven days. Take that in and see if you ain't vegetated, medicated. Okay? And if you can survive that, I want, I want to shake your hand when you come out. I just don't believe you can. I believe you'll be just like her, a vegetable at the end. I mean, she wasn't moving very much. The first day she was in there, she was trying to spit the tube out. Her family members even said it was a nurse. She had been a nurse. And she said that she's Trying to spit the tube out. She's not dead. Well, that doctor, 
Well, what's that daughter saying? You know, but this lady, she drinks a little bit, so everybody says, oh, she's drunk. I talk about stuff that, uh, you know, it's a little far-fetched, you know. It's theory, a lot of theories, you know. Uh, and the, the theories are that, you know, that uh, we see a light, you know, in our Hubble telescope, you know, and then dark, light, real quick, you know. But that they measure that darkness, and that shows how big the, the planet is out there, okay? Just a little, little peep. But it's a theory that there's another, a whole another galaxy like ours, solar system, everything is like, all that, the space is so gigantic that one's mind can never truly comprehend it. I can't even, I know what I know and I still can't comprehend the magnitude of, I can't grasp the, the, the magnitude of it. In death, there becomes life. We have to eat. When we die, all of us die in an extinction. Well, something else will be reborn. When planets die, other planets begin. It's just the way it is. There's no beginning and there's no end. This is not my philosophy. This is in the Bible. This is the way that based on dreams and that people's had, um, I, I believe it with a, out of a shadow of a doubt now. Laces made me wake up, and everything that I keep to myself and a few friends and family, I'm going to put it out there, okay? I'm going to put myself out there on the, on the market, if you will. I want you to believe in me. I want you to believe in yourself. I want every one of you at the sound of my voice, I want you to stop, take a moment in silence for all the organ donors, the ones that wanted to be and were disrespected, and the ones that don't want to be, and they were done that way anyway. Let's think about all them people, okay? And then I want you to think about you. Think about where you're at right now. Are you eating a sandwich, getting ready to go to school? Go to work, go to play. Think about this. Think about it real hard. Think about what you want to do in this life. Think about it real hard. Guess what? you got a choice here in America. Think about that. Hey, how long is that going to be? If it ain't going to be long at all, they're taking it away. They're taking it pieces by pieces. Your Fourth Amendment right taken away from you. Roadblocks destroying our Fourth Amendment rights. Coming in on the house. You want to come and look and see if I got three naked women tied to my damn wall? Come on. Come on in. I I'll let you in. You can. You want to have supper? A friend of mine told me one time. He said, "So Gator, you know what? You used to have. You used to hunt. Hunt all your food in the, in all the vegetables that was in the refrigerator. I go down by the trestles and get water. I had a well and still went down on the trestles to get water out of the mountain. Cause I was young, 20 years old or so, and I never went to a grocery store because I was complaining about going to the grocery store. He reminded me. He said, "I always I had plenty of food, and I gave I gave a lot of people a squirrel meat and stew and give people food. That's something my daddy taught me. We always had plenty." You know, it's not, it's the things that we have now, people, $50 call before you dig. It's how, it's a, that's ridiculous. That's, a, that's a taking on, it just, it's just crazy. You know, my, my land is worth a lot of money, okay? It really is. I'm here by the Curry Club, and it's going up, and it's never going to go down. It's going to be, this is going to be like a, a small Atlanta, I guess, here. You know, it's a, the, the, the president was just here. But you know what? It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. What matters is they can come in here and say, I can do this and I can do that. Who? Who says that? Who, who says that that's right? Who says that's right? Probation and the, and the plea bargain. Plea bargain, that's just a ding. That's a crazy talk. Three to be free. What kind of crap is that? Huh? I propose a, a safe lane. 
I used to call it a DUI lane, but, you know, people laugh at me. A safe lane is where you can drive. You don't have to have a license. You don't have to have insurance. You don't have to. You can be uh, drinking. Don't be drunk. And it's going to be down the center of lanes, especially on the interstate. We have them. We have it built up with the, with the um, where they can't hurt nobody else but themselves. And you get inside that lane if you dare to. Put your flashers on. You're free to go. Go on through there. People need to be able to go to the doctor and to the store and and go where they can go and come as they can. You know, there's no privilege. It's a necessity to be able to drive. And you take away people's driver's license for child support. I paid all my child support, and I got stereotyped and got pulled over and suspended because of a food stamp card that says I'm not paying myself. I throwed it in the trash because my, my wages are garnished when I got hurt. I paid all the years at my son. My son's 20 years old. It says I owe seven thousand dollars. It's impossible. I can't pay myself. This is crazy, but that's what gave me the illegal stop. All the way the officer got mad. It started out, you know, shut up and just follow my directions. Okay, you know, exactly what you have to do. He lied, lied on the on the on the uh, affidavit that he turned in. It's a terrible thing that they done to me. But you know what? It's not as bad as what they did to my Lisa. I want you to think about it. Think about it real hard what you want. Do you want it to go like this? You want to keep on going like this? Roadblocks and gun control? Well, maybe that's what you want. I don't want that. And the ones that don't want that, stand up. Stand beside me. Let's go. Let's take this all the way to the White House. Let's shut this Let's shut this bull crap down. Monopoly law? There's a monopoly law. You ever heard of monopoly law? Huh, look it up. See what, what I'm talking about. Okay? That's all I'm going to say about that right now. It's against the law for one entity to own uh, 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 a company, several companies. Think about it. Let's do something today. Let's stop this. Let's pass Lisa's grandbaby law. Let's do it for her, for her life. Shouldn't have never been gone. She should be here with me right now. Be able to see her grandbabies. That's why I called it. I named it. It was just a few suggestions she had when she was in a robotic state. Herself telling herself in a dream that she's fixing to be murdered. And her organs are going to be stolen. Mitchell Iron Oak Sr., 301 Harbert Valley Road, Tacoa, Georgia. 30577. Send any donations, anyone that wants to volunteer to help me pass this law, write to me. Let me know how you feel. I need to know if there's anybody going to be up there standing beside me. I got a couple, two, three people. Might say he be in charge of my security. I've asked a few, to, a couple of them. Uh, 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 friends of hers that would one of them that told her pocketbook. She hasn't given me an answer yet, but I want her to tote her pocketbook, Lisa's pocketbook, and and in her memory. And I've just got. I want. Uh, uh, I want this to, to happen peacefully, as it says in our First Amendment. William Penn. William Penn. He was the one that uh, he started and created what state. That's a trivia question for you. Okay, God bless America. God bless you. Have a good day.